Hello, it's Matt here from Ribotech Training Center with another video. Uh, and this is, um, again, relating to desktop to web uh, migration where people uh, recently are moving their processes and functions from desktop to web, either voluntarily or because they need to because they're moving to the cloud. Um, and this all relates to one of the functions that is necessary when moving from desktop to web. That is the decision over whether to make your accelerator reports that you run normally from desktop, uh, make them uh, to run them in web, whether to publish them through as a web menu item. So you're running it in web, but actually what's happening is you're basically creating a shortcut. So you're actually running it in desktop, but you're running it from web. Or to recreate that report completely in web so you're no longer relying at all on any desktop uh, order report. So I want to show you what that looks like and what the options are. Okay, so first with this example, I'm going to show you what the report is that we're actually running. So this is an accelerator that is running an information browser. Now we happen to be running an information browser. Exactly the same would be true if we were running a uh, uh, desktop browser. But again, this is all about moving to the web and trying to uh, lessen the, rely the reliance on desktop browsers or desktop altogether. So I've chosen an information browser as my example. And if I just uh, search for that, uh, so I've got my GLAC1, so that's GL Accounting Report 1, which is an accounting report shared. I have to go there manually, so accounting reports and shared. There's this report. Okay, um, and it's got one uh, prompted uh, prompted uh, request, which is for account. Okay, and it's only going to show posted transactions. Um, so if I say, for example, 23020, and then do view results. There we go, there's the prompt. Click on OK. And I've got some number, 205 rows of results. Obviously, you'd have a bigger filter like that in your system because you're looking at the general ledger, but this is just a training system. I don't have that many results in total. But that's uh, what I should expect to see from anything I download relating to this uh, information browser if I use that same account filter. So the next step then, let's say we want to run this as an accelerator, uh, but we also then want to um, not run it from Accelerator with an Excel, but have it as a, as a download from our desktop menu. Uh, so desktop first, I'll show you that option and then I'll show you uh, in web uh, to run that Accelerator. So the first thing we do is create that Accelerator and save it to our customized reports folder. So any ordered report so Accelerator, the place it's looking for that report is gonna be customized reports. I think there's a six character limit on the name of that Excel file. Now, these two look exactly the same, GL1DT, GL1WB. I'll just show you what they are. So GL1DT, uh, so it's, it's got a blue and it says its results are from desktop, just so you can differentiate. But the actual query is looking at that GLAC1 report, get IB report 230, that is that GLAC1 um, information browser. Okay, so this is the desktop one, GLACDT and the GLA, GL1WB, there you go, this is the GLWB. I should rename that to GLWB rather than GLAC, but that's fine. It's the web one and it's orange, but running exactly the same report. All right, so I've got two options there to run the same report. So the next step, once you've created your accelerator with all the relevant uh, accelerator uh, coding that you need. Uh, remember, we do run an accelerator course. If you're interested, contact me. Uh, but once you've got that and you've created it into your customized reports, you can now create uh, your ordered report. So I'll show you what you would already have in desktop and then show you the two ways of getting that through to web, either published or recreated. So I'm going to open up my desktop environment. And I can see in here in my personal menu, if I click on that, I've got an accelerator reports tab. And then within there, I've got GL1DT, so that's my desktop. Let, I'll just run this so you can see it. So if I double click on that, it gives me the option of an account. I'm gonna put in exactly the same account as I did before, 23020, and then uh, save. 
I'll get my order number. So you can see I've run it in prep for this video. Click on OK. In maintenance of order reports, so button at the top, uh, I'm just going to refresh that. There we go, that's working, working, and there we go, there's my GL1DT. Double click, and it will output, there we go. So that is my report, my desktop report. And just to show you the setup of that, because obviously I've, I've run it and it's already created, but just so you understand how that's been created, uh, what I did was I created a user-defined report, chose a uh, module, uh, so one of many modules. I could have chosen personal menu. The, the module you choose is to a degree um, a bit somewhat arbitrary, uh, but I've chosen a module for it to reside in. Given the report a name, this has to be the same name as the report oops, hang on, uh, in your customized reports folder. So that's what links it. So GL1DT, that is looking then or pointing at this GL1DT report here. And I've added a parameter which allows me to put in a uh, value that will be fed into that report uh, for, a, for that prompted account code. All right, so really simple setup. Uh, once that's saved, the next thing to do is place it where you want it to be placed, and that is done in user-defined menu. All of these are in the system admin uh, section. If I go into here, you can see system admin. I've got reports, user-defined report, and then in menus, I've got user-defined menu. All right, so user-defined menu, just change this back to here. Uh, the first thing I do is create a menu item parent menu ID 00, this one does matter. So I've chosen a module, which is 99. Again, this bit is arbitrary. You can create a new module if you want to with a, with a completely different number. But this here, this parent menu ID indicates the, the personal menu. Okay, everything in this personal menu has the start of the, the kind of code for that menu item is 00 something, because that's what that is. So I've created a new menu, function menu, called accelerator reports with a menu ID 991, that's this. And then underneath that, I've created a report. Again, there's that function, GL1DT, that links back to this, so it knows what it's running. The parent menu ID is 991, which is that accelerator reports. Um, and then you've got the program and menu text um, that you need to uh, actually run it. So the menu text is just how it appears here, the label. And it has a menu ID of its own. All right, so that's the setup to get that in here. You know, once that's created, refresh this menu, you'll see this in here, and you can run it. So you'll have lots of uh, accelerator reports and normal reports that aren't accelerator-based, uh, you know, normal ordered reports that might interface to other systems or do other things. Uh, we'll, we'll keep this about accelerators. And so that will run from desktop, as we've just seen. So the options for doing the same thing in web. So the next screen, once, once you have this here, the screen you can use to publish this through to web. So this is still using this user to find report, but you're running this report from web instead of from desktop. Oops, I've just moved that somewhere by mistake. There we go, let's move it back. Um, so what you need to do is go into user defined web report ordering. Again, that's in system admin menus, user-defined web report ordering menu. So I come into here, and this is where I'm going to create a menu item in, uh, in web. Now for this one, I've done the same thing as I did on the user-defined menu. I've got a folder for my uh, ordered report to sit in, and I've got the ordered report itself. So in here, I've got my parent menu as being AG597. Now if I go into web, I can tell you from the, that that is common. Okay, you can see accelerator reports there, and it is in common. How would I know that common is, oops, let's go back to that. Uh, how would I know that common is AG597? Well, there are various ways to, to know. Uh, one way is to run a SQL command based on the table that holds those menu items. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to my Dropbox with this Excel spreadsheet uh, in the description. And what you can do on here, I've created a quick SQL uh, lookup. So if I put in common here, 
it will show you the various places in the system that common appears. And one of those places, oh, bear in mind, tree type, one is desktop, two is web. So we're looking for common in web. There's common, okay, the others are like common parameters and common tools. So this is the, the menu item we're looking for in web, tree type two, uh, and the menu ID is AG597. So I can see that uh, this common, the, the name for that is AG597, so I've created that accelerator report in there. If I wanted this whole thing to be in accounting, again, I could go back to my spreadsheet and I could say accounting. Run the sheet. Now it's gonna be more than one with accounting, but there's the accounting on its own. Okay, menu report two, and that is AG354. So if I had made my uh, menu item AG354, it would have been accelerator reports sat in the accounting module. And you can do that with any module or menu item by using a lookup to find out what that code is so that you know what to, where to put your report or to put a folder to have your reports in. All right, so I've got my menu, which is accelerator reports, and then I've got, again, my server process, which is to run. Now this actually is running as I mentioned, there's a link back to desktop. It's running this report here. If I right click and prop, we'll go to properties, you'll see, that, see here that this is menu ID 992, description GL1DT. That's the argument I've got here. Okay, so it's running this report. I've given it a name, GL1DT to web. Again, you can see that in here, there it is. And so with that created, and that's the, the published through to web part, if I come here, you can see I've got exactly the same uh, prompt because it's running that same ordered report. 23020, let's do the same again. Tab, save. Okay, number four. Click OK and go into your ordered reports. Remember in web there is no maintenance of ordered reports. It's your ordered reports and all ordered reports. There we go. So that has now uh, finished. Oh, hang on. Let's refresh that. There we go. It's this one here. All right, it's in some weird order of order number. Uh, let's click on that one. And there we go, we've got our number four and it's exactly the same. These results are from desktop running that report. All right, so you can still see that even though I'm in, I'm in web, it's running that desktop uh, ordered report link. So the final part here, let me just close that, uh, is to then say, uh, I don't wanna rely on that desktop browser, uh, sorry, desktop ordered report anymore. I want to actually recreate this in web so that I don't need to worry about desktop at all. So in that case, what I need to do is go into uh, system administration. So basically I need to recreate that report in the web. All right, in report setup, I've got custom reports and then user defined reports. All right, so in here, I've already created this. I'm just gonna look it up, which is uh, GL1WB. All right, so what I've created, uh, it asks you for the report ID. Okay, there's no modules in this, in terms of you know accelerator and personal and that kind of thing. Uh, so it asks me for the report, and again, that report needs to be the same as the one in customized reports. So there's my web-based report, GL1WB. Report name, GL1-web, so that's what you can see up here. Um, and then for the report parameters, I've basically copied that same parameter that I had in desktop into here. So this account parameter here, account equals, that's the same thing that I've got here. Once you save it, you can then do some extra things. You can link it to a, other companies other than the, the default one you're in if you want to. So make it available in other companies, other clients. Uh, you can give access directly in here to a role. So I've given access to my system role, which I'm a part of. And finally, you can use custom menu items to put it where you want it to be. So you don't need to go through the rigmarole and desktop of you know finding particular menu items and that kind of thing. You can use the custom menu items. Now this screen is a little bit um, particular. It won't allow you to put it in any folder. 
so if you really wanted it to be somewhere specific that you couldn't get it in in here, you might have to use some SQL and use that menu ID to do a little change, you know, change its parent menu ID. But um, what I've done here is said I want it to be in common accelerator reports. I literally just clicked that, then right click, and then place inside, and that's put it inside that folder. Okay, again, you don't have place inside for everything, um, but for this one I do, so that's fine. And that's what makes it appear here. So finally, just to show this works, if I run this one, as opposed to the desktop to web one, let's put in 23020 one last time, click on save, okay, back to my ordered reports, and let's just refresh that. There we go, it's finished. If I go into show reports, there's the download, and you can see that it's going to open. There we go. There's my web-based report. Okay, I hope that was useful. So that is all about accelerator reports. It's a very similar situation with non-accelerator desktop ordered reports uh, in that you still have those two options for any ordered report that is in desktop. Uh, you can either publish it through using the um, using the user-defined web report ordering and calling upon that existing menu item using this argument for it to run uh, in wherever you've put it in the web. Or you can choose to recreate that function in the web entirely. That may require some uh, build consultancy um, or you might be able to do it yourself depending on how knowledgeable you are of um, the creation of parameters and things in order to report. I hope that was useful. As always, if you have any training requirements on reporting information browsers, accelerator, desktop to web uh, functionality, you know, comparisons and advice, please do contact us at aribotech.com. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.